Okay. Welcome to our season seven recap video where we're gonna break down everything we went, our route, yes. RV parks we've stayed at, God. our top RV parks that we've stayed at. Yes, in season seven. Stuff we stuff we really like. So if you've noticed, we're out here in the beautiful Sedona. I mean, it really is the beautiful Sedona. It really is. And if you're super observant, you tune into KYD every week, you'd probably know this is where we did the RV tour video. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been out here just making videos and in, uh, in fact, we even teamed up with Battleborn, and they came out here with a film crew. It was awesome. So fun. It was great, and uh, they had a huge inspired drone, so that was a lot of fun. And so we've just been out here shooting videos. Mm -hmm. It's been it's been really cool. Don't judge here, okay? Normally the boys do this. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here, here, look. Here's. The I know. Graphs. I didn't. I didn't go around and get proper stuff. Here. Here's some graphs. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> Why don't we get prepared and come right back? Okay, well, hold on. There's one more thing I don't want to forget to tell you. So, um, this video, of course, is probably the last video of season seven. Yes. Okay. And behind us is Toy Ginger in our trusty tow vehicle. Yes. And right there is the new RV for next season. Oh my God. And so that okay, was the other wait. reason we came out here is so that we can do a reveal of that rig. But we're going to do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, tomorrow for us is next, next Sunday, Sunday for, for you, you. <laughs> so you're going to have to wait, but it will be worth the wait. So definitely join us uh, this Sunday so that we can reveal that because it's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. We're, we're very much looking forward to next season. Super excited. All right. So I'm going to go get, try to find and get this, uh, get this fire started. And what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to get us some wine. I like and that. Then <laughs> and we're going to get this going and, and then we're going to we're going to get our notes and then we're going to break everything down for this season. This is fancy. Isn't it though? Very cool, very exciting. Look at this. Yeah. Are you joking? Say goodbye to Ginger. Oh yeah. It's been a good rig. Guy's wallet flies out of his pocket, <laughs> comes towards me. I go like this and catch it. Summer. It makes me so happy inside. Can't I love tell? being here. I love it. All right. I got my summer to remember shirt on. You got plenty of watermelon. Charlie's already there. Charlie's in the boat? He's on the boat. On the boat. This is what summer's about in Michigan right here. Okay, no more hugging her. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I love you. I'm gonna miss you. Come on. I love you guys so much. I really mean. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Hi. You, you look say, amazing. What did you say look good? You look amazing. I said Mel looks good, but you do too. We're recording. We're all good. Fire's lit. We have some drinks. We have all the time in the world. <laughs> We're not doing anything else tonight. No. We have this our notes of season notes. of season seven. We haven't done a recap video in a while. 
Yes. But we really like doing these videos because it's an opportunity for us to kind of represent some of the favorite things we did in a season. Mm -hmm. And you had the great idea of like kind of giving an award to yeah. like a best of. Well, that way you would know kind of like what the essence mm -hmm. of each place was so that you can tap into whether you'd like it to go visit. And then we also, uh, in every uh, destination that we're gonna mention, like our favorite of, I think we're even calling this a top 10, top 10 list of season seven, mm -hmm. the RV park we stayed at. And we even have some RV parks we wanna give some honorable mentions to because we've stayed at some pretty cool places. Yes. Okay, so we have some notes. Um, what did I wanna mention about this? Oh, well, let's first start with our route. So we started in Arizona and we went to Texas on our way to Gunnersville, Alabama for the RVE Entrepreneurial Summit. Yes. And then we went down into Florida, Tampa, made our way up to Atlanta, Tennessee, Nashville, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Then we went up in through Ohio, Detroit. Yes. And we backtracked to Sandusky, mm -hmm. went to Cedar Point, came over into Elkhart, Indiana, uh -huh. then went up into Michigan, around the Upper Peninsula to Wisconsin, went up to Hayward, went up over to Door County, went back down to Indiana. Mm -hmm. From Indiana, we circled back around to Cincinnati, went back to Nashville, yes. back to Georgetown, back home. Yeah. 15,000 15, miles-ish mm -hmm. on the truck, not towing. And that's kind of, that's, that's, that's season seven in a nutshell. That's season seven. And then we have 10 places that we thought were worthy enough to mention. Yes. Out of all of that travel, we narrowed it down to 10. So you can imagine that's pretty hard, mm -hmm. especially if you're from the Midwest. I know you'll have some great suggestions for us. Mm -hmm. So leave them in the comments below because people watch the video mm -hmm. and then they can get your suggestions yeah. on great places to RV. You want to start with number one? Okay, so, well, did we do these in order? We did this in order of the route so that there was no bias. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Okay, so we have Gunnersville. Yeah. We said that this was the best state park. That's the award we gave it, the best state park. It's full hookups, it's affordable, it's on the lake, it has this huge convention center. It's expansive. It is. And I know Mark already said it, but it's worthy of saying twice, full hookups. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You don't usually get that at a state park or for that price. No. So the reason we went there is because Heath and Alyssa host their annual event, um, the, the RVE Summit, and we were speaking there. Look at how many people showed up. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? I'm the number one I mean, we're... <laughs> I'm the number one man! <laughs> Where's everybody? So number two, what's number two? Okay, number two, we have, let's see if you can guess it, most family-friendly RV resort <laughs> fort wilderness fort wilderness uh, yes so we went there uh, because really we wanted to see what fort wilderness was like i mean i yeah. see on facebook and i see in the rv groups it has such a reputation and we just wanted to get a sense for what what would it really be like and what did we say most family friendly yes also most expensive well we still have another night <laughs> For me, mm -hmm. being full-time, holiday events have been kind of challenging because mm -hmm. I really like the holidays and I struggle with like decorating the rig. Like I want to be by people that are really excited for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it was right around Easter and I thought, oh, this is the perfect time because we can go to Fort Wilderness, experience that. I'm sure there would be like Easter egg hunts and it would mm -hmm. be all decorated and it was. It did not disappoint. And then we flew Tori out. You just got here. Hi. Yay! Yay. Let's go I was like, <laughs> Kill, gonna see why that someone's killed. Kill can to... never get Yeah. So um, that's another thing. As your family gets older or if you're retired and your family already left the nest, using your RV to meet somewhere and experience something mm -hmm. different together is so cool. And Disney did not disappoint in that way. I think that the uh, the Fort Wilderness is fantastic for people who want to meet their friends there because you can kind of, if you have kids that maybe aren't as old as ours, they're maybe just approaching some independence. It's a place where you can kind of let your kids uh, free range, right? Yes. Free range kids. Free range teens. Yeah, free range there teens. There are yeah. activities all day long at Fort Wilderness. You can take the boat right into um, the park, but a lot of people don't even go to the park, no. which I was surprised yeah. about. And they just use yeah. Fort Wilderness as their entertainment. And I will say one last thing. It's expensive as it relates to RVing, but it's very inexpensive as it relates to staying on the property. When you compare Fort Wilderness to the Grand Floridian any or any of the Disney? other Disney properties, resorts, it would, it's a huge saving. So with that perspective, it's it's a thing. All right, we'll keep it moving. Number okay, three. Okay, we'll keep it moving. Um, and, I, you're, and you're not subjected to food 
eating out all the time. You can time. eat in your rig, absolutely. You can eat in your rig. Okay, so most charming. Most charming. Savannah. Yeah. Yes. We've been there twice now, and each time we've wanted to stay a little bit longer. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, we went into the park, that's where I was with uh, Barry, and we did our photo shoot, yes. and we had the leaf blowers there. If it's not leaf blowers, it's chalk bags, and now we have a new golf cart. <laughs> we have a new golf cart with orange containers. But um, I would say, what, most charming, we, we did an insider meetup at uh, Savannah Coffee Roasting, and I, I'm still ordering coffee from them to this day. <laughs> well, we stayed just outside of Savannah. We stayed in Hilton Head, and while that is very, very pretty, mm -hmm. uh, next time we go, I would definitely like to stay closer to Savannah because there's things going on in the city all the time, yeah. in the different parks, and it's just so charming. It's yeah. so beautiful. Yeah, so you said uh, Hilton Head Marina RV Resort. Yes. It's the RV resort where individuals own their sites. Mm -hmm. And so it's a pretty nice RV park though because they're big and they have like some have barbecues and, and mm -hmm. whatnot. But you're right, I think we'd stay a little closer in the town. Yes. All right, number four. Okay. I kind of like this. I'm giving the the award first. Yeah, I like yes. that too. Okay. So um, quintessential heartland. Oh, well, I know, but we, we made this list. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Louisville. Louisville. Yes. Louisville. I mean, Louisville. I've come a long way Lu from Louisville <laughs> to Louisville. Louisville. Right? Yes. Okay, so here's the thing. Quint we said quintessential heartland. Mm -hmm. When you're driving through Kentucky mm -hmm. and you're going through these winding roads with the black picket fence and the black barn in the distance with the trees overhanging the roads, it is what we set out in our – that was the mental image we had of the heartland. Yes. And Kentucky – delivered that mental image. Delivered. Oh yes, yes. it did. Ready? Come on. Let's go. And if you go into Louisville, there is the Louisville. golf Louisville. Louisville. <laughs> Louisville. I feel like Elvis. Okay. Louisville. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> we stayed at the Galt Hotel for our 20th anniversary. Yes. It was super fun. If you are in town for the Derby or any other event, the party is there. Yeah. They do all kinds of stuff so that when you leave the horse races or go, they have all kinds yeah. of stuff happening in the hotel. So check it out if you are, in fact, hoteling it. The stuff, stuff we didn't do in Kentucky, the Mammoth Caves, highly recommended, but mm -hmm. we had just done the caves in, in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't hit the Louisville Slugger Museum. I wanted right. to do that. I sent him an email and I didn't want to show up with a camera and take the risk, but that's something to do. There's the Corvette Museum mm -hmm. as you're making your way from the bourbon tours in uh, just south of Louisville and you make your way up, you're going to pass, you pass the Mammoth Caves first and then you pass the Corvette Museum. Trish really we wanted to go so see the things. trolls. There's a troll exhibit in and oh, around a park. You really want to yes. do that? There's enough to do in Louisville where you'll want to go back. And so that yeah. was that was a top destination for us. And then of course, big shout out to Melvin who showed us his, his horse. Uh, it was awesome to go out to um, not just Churchill Downs for mm -hmm. the Twilight Races, but we also went over to the Keeneland. Yes. And Keeneland is like the Wrigley Field of horse tracks. The whole thing is awesome. We'll be back to that area for sure. For sure. So thank you, Melvin, for hosting yeah. us. And yes. we had such a great time yeah. getting like the insider scoop. Yeah. So, okay. Number six. We have best hiking. Oh, well, you have to know if you watch season seven week to week, you have to know where what we're going to say for the best hiking. You tell them I'm going to, I'm going to, I was going to throw a, lo a log on because it was smoky. It was so perfect. <laughs> All right. All right, Trish, tell them best hiking. Best hiking. Smoky Mountains, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's raining ashes. Hopefully the uh, crackling is more charming than it is distracting. And hopefully <laughs> the smoke is more of a... Diffuser. Yeah, diffuser than yes. annoying. Yes. <laughs> so um, the best hiking was definitely the Smoky Mountains. Yes. I had no idea the gorgeousness that was about to unfold in front of us. I love the Smoky Mountains. You can explore here forever, and there's no fee to get in. You are my fate, 
favorite place to go You're at the end of my favorite road Above the rest, you're the best I know It really makes me want to go to Angel's Landing oh, in yes. Zion. That is one of the national parks that we would like to go back to. You are my favorite shade of road. A flower bed on my favorite stone. I love the ground where your roots have grown. You wear three. Especially when we did the chimney top. Chimney top hikes was our favorite hike by far. By far. And in fact, it even stunning. ranked in our top five hikes in North America because yeah. of the our, like the steps that would go up and how it winded through. We absolutely loved it. It was amazing. Yeah. So there's also um, Pigeon Forge and what is Gatlinburg? Well, we stayed before, at Pigeon Forge. Yes. Before you get into the Smoky Mountains, you will drive through Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. And... Um, those are interesting towns that's not really up our alley it was a lot of like carnival-esque but i have to say that if our kids were still like in middle school ish they would have loved it we probably would never even made it into the smoky mountains because i wouldn't would be able to see so because i would step my eyeballs out but <laughs> i agree we probably would have we probably would have done that um now let's talk about rv parks oh uh, my gosh <laughs> i can't believe the, you said that um, we stayed at Creekside RV Park and by happenstance in mm -hmm. Pigeon Forge and it was a great park It's where Charlie learned to swim as a yes. puppy. We had a great site backed out uh, backed up to the the creek And so that was that was great, too. That it was, was awesome. about 20 minutes into the state park. So that was fine That was amazing. All right. That's okay. number six. Are we in number seven? I don't really know what number we're on, but I do Know that the next one is our favorite city of season oh, seven. Yes. Favorite city. Yeah, Nashville. Nashville. I can't believe how much we enjoyed Nashville. And um, I think one of the reasons we liked it, and I don't know if you find this surprising, is we found Nashville to be a lot like our hometown, Scottsdale. Mm -hmm. It just kind of had that. Except we don't have great music. We don't have great music, but it just kind of had that like current, upbeat vibe. It had mm -hmm. a lot of energy going on. Yes. It was touristy, but not too touristy. And I'm not talking about Broadway. Obviously, that's over the top touristy. But mm -hmm. I don't know. We just felt like it had Trader Joe's and it, it had it had a lot of things that we were accustomed to having. Yes. And we really enjoyed ourselves there. We really enjoyed us. Great food, great music, nice people diversity in different neighborhoods like mm -hmm. you could go to one neighborhood and be all these tiny little charming houses you go to another one and you could tell that it was all restaurant based yeah, yeah. you could go to another one and you were like i gotta get out of the car and walk around this yeah. is so cute so um anyway just a really neat town and then of course we stayed at the grand old rv resort yes. and uh, where we got charlie where we got charlie Charlie, just send the truck and wait. Just be glad she's not at a grocery store. That's a new level, advanced level waiting. I like our little tailgate party. This is fun. Yeah. It was a great RV resort, and then of course I have to mention my favorite campground host, Bailey. <laughs> All right, not Bonnie, Hilarious. which I said in the video. So then we went back to the Grand Old Opry, and she Hilarious. says, uh, "Saw the video, Bailey, not Bonnie." So yeah, anyway, my apologies, but it's a great Sorry. RV resort. <laughs> okay, most walkable town. Most walkable town. Yes, I have it. Okay, what is it? Door County. No. <laughs> Grand Haven. Grand, Grand Haven. Haven, Michigan. Grand Haven, Michigan is. So adorable. The Coast Guard Festival, there's a great 4th of July situation mm -hmm. going on there. Just really fun people, really walkable town. They do have a state park right on the water and you can walk from the state park onto the pier and you can be right by the lighthouse. But it's very challenging to get sites there. It can be, so you have to do it way in advance. Or if you can't get into Grand Haven State Park, we also stayed, but it never made the videos because I had to travel on a trip. Uh, we stayed at Ducks RV Park in Muskegon. 
This is one of the coolest, one of the nicest RV parks we've stayed at. I Family went, run, yeah, amazing RV park. They really know what big they're doing sites. There. Everybody, ha every site has a, a fire pit. They have basketball courts and tennis courts. People cool. make reservations a year in advance. Like as they're leaving, yeah. they say, "I want my site yeah. for next year," and um, and they come there with all their friends. The kids are out playing games, and there's a big pool. It's yeah. just. It was a blast. So check that out. And we're going to include that in the corresponding blog. Yes. Okay, so. Okay, so that was most walkable town. Best experience. I can't remember. Mackinac. Oh, of course. Mackinac is potentially our, I don't know mm -hmm. if it's the, the season's highlight, but it was mm -hmm. our highlight of season seven. Ready? Fire! Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. No, there's no other town in the world quite like this. All right, I found them. They're right here. Welcome to Mackinac Island. Oh, Charlie, you're such a good sport. Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> Well, not only did we get to spend time with friends, and you know if you full time or if you travel all the time, you miss your friends. Mm -hmm. And we got to see the Coopers, and it was a total blast. Our kids got to see their kids, and we just goofed off literally for one day. Yeah, it was only one day. We were there for three day. days, but we really had one long day with the Coopers. And mm -hmm. one, something that didn't really uh, show up in the videos, because we didn't mention it, that I think what we should mention now is the reason we went to Mackinac, the reason we stayed there for three nights, and the reason we stayed at the Mission Hotel, mm -hmm. is that this was our trip to spend with Carson before he went off to school. Mm -hmm. And so Trish said, I really want to do something that's different than what we normally do. Because mm -hmm. we're normally traveling in the RV and we're normally making videos. And you said, I really want to do, like have a family trip. Yes, I and wanted to break the rhythm. I wanted to do something totally different. And what I thought was really funny and not funny, but actually a little bit sad is when Victoria left for school, Caleb said, wait a minute, she like left for real? And I said, yeah, she left for school. We've been talking to you about this. And he's like, well, I didn't realize. I would have said goodbye better. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> and so I wanted to make sure before Carson went off to school that Carson and Caleb really got some quality time together. Yeah. But when we saw the Coopers, we were like, you have to come out. So they came out for a day, but then they went back home. And then we got to spend those two days together, just roaming around together with very little technology mm -hmm. and doing something totally different so that we had that connection. If you haven't seen the video, uh, definitely watch it next because it's an awesome video. It was one of our favorites. So Mackinac Island, no cars allowed. It's all horse driven carriages <laughs> going back and forth looking for sticks. <laughs> so um, anyway, I just gave him a bath and now he's all dirty. Yes. It's right, what number what was that? Do. I think I'm not, my numbering was off. Okay. Well, I don't know, but now okay. we have the great outdoors. Ah, the great outdoors. Yes. Oh, well, of course, this is what Trish is referring to is the upper peninsula of Michigan. So we went from Mackinac Island mm -hmm. to through the Upper Peninsula to get to Oshkosh for the air show. Mm -hmm. And so we just thought that was kind of neat to go over the top. Mm -hmm. So we ended up staying at Munising Touristy RV Park because we is the only RV park that had availability in their overflow dry lot. And we still loved it. Yes. Right. If you plan in advance, which we seem to have a hard time doing, mm -hmm. you can actually stay on the water and yeah. those sites are phenomenal. Yeah. So Carson and I went swimming, uh, Caleb too, Charlie, it was a great site. Uh, we ended up doing the pictured rocks tour. Uh, the thing that we were amiss there is that we really should have rented a pontoon. We should have found another couple mm -hmm. to share a pontoon and then we could have just spent the day going along those beautiful cliffs right. and we could have swam and done all sorts of things. So Well, and we had no idea the extensive hiking. I mean, yeah. if you really want to feel like you're in the great outdoors, you could stay there and you like doing things outdoors. Yeah. You could be hiking for days on end. You could be by the water and also give yourself a couple of those weather other days because yeah. the rain does come there's a reason why it's so green <laughs> all right so that's that now okay now before Trish gets to the next destination I gotta say after we went through the Upper Peninsula we went to Oshkosh for the air show
we did give that an honorable mention, Oshkosh, because yes. going using your RV to go to a gigantic show is so cool because mm -hmm. big shows like that can be overwhelming, they yeah. can be tiring, and they're phenomenal, but if you're going with a family, you need downtime, yeah. and you need to not be subjected to fair food. Yeah. Like, fair food is fun once, but if you eat it all day for seven days, you yeah. might you know start getting grumpy. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so when you can sleep in your own bed and you can go to an air show that's so big and see um, something really cool, but then go home and relax and then go back, it's. Mm -hmm. It's like the pinnacle of RVing. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. It's so neat. So anyway, we gave Oshkosh an honorable mention because it really was, in and of itself, a destination. It just didn't make our top 10. And the other thing that didn't make our top 10 but needs an honorable mention is the Lumberjack Festival that we did in Hayward, West Coast. Let's go! Look at this, Ford Grilling. That was a spectacular event to just be a spectator of because the athletes, the competitors are right in front of you. And the things they're doing are just so out of the ordinary. Yes. You know, I mean, chopping that tree, sticking a board in it, standing on that board, chopping the next tree, it was awesome. So if you ever find yourself up in Northern Wisconsin in August-ish, late July, August, definitely check that out. Yes. Okay, and then our last last mention and again these were not in order of our most exciting to mm -hmm. least exciting just um in order of our route yes door county best vacation spot we thought it was the best vacation spot because it seemed to us that people who were in the midwest migrate north into door county and yeah. it felt like to trish and i this is probably an inaccurate description but it felt like to trish and i it was the hamptons in the midwest cape cod cape cod ish yes in the midwest meaning it had that beach town coastal vibe mm -hmm. but instead of lighthouses which there were some there were silos right it had like yeah. a midwestern equipment yes. on in a coastal vacation town yes it was very cool what some people don't realize about door county is that it's really quite large yeah. so there's different places there's sister bay there's fish creek there's there's all different places for you to visit so if you figure out what it is you want to do there and find a landing spot. We stayed in Fish Creek. Then um, you'll know like um, what to plan and where you're going because some places are like 30 minutes away. Yeah, yeah. And so anyway, so it's not like you just park your rig and then it's a walkable city. Yeah. It's um, it's definitely a vacation spot. I'm just getting up and putting another log on because I don't want it to get too low or it'll get grainy or then it'll lose focus. Oh, okay. All right, so hold on. Put some more logs here on the fire like this. It's kind of nice though, isn't it? It's far yeah. enough away this time where it's not like burning our eyebrows off. Yes. Not that I have eyebrows, but if I did, <laughs> they'd get burned off. Uh, so tell me what was your favorite part of season seven? The, my favorite part of season seven was simply being, having my expectations exceeded by how beautiful the heartland is. Yeah, well said. I think so too. I mean, mm -hmm. everywhere we went, like we were saying, Alabama, Door mm -hmm. County. Bama. Bama, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. like there, I was just amazed at how beautiful the different places mm -hmm. were, how wonderful all the different people were because everybody's different in all these different yeah. states mm -hmm. and just their charm and the different appeal of every state and every town yeah. was so unique and so mind blowing. Yeah. It was really yeah. cool. And it's just a good reminder that no matter where you live, there's something to do in your backyard that other people are traveling to get to. Yes. So you don't need to get into your RV and travel six plus hours to go somewhere to, to see something spectacular. Unless you live in Texas and then six hours is just to go to the grocery store. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yes, uh, we do love Texas. We so, love Texas. So this season for us was about like seeing how many more states we can do. And we looked on a map in terms of how many, what states are left that we haven't been to. And I believe North Dakota, we have not really, I mean, we we went through North Dakota, but we don't have any footage. Our, everybody has their own silly little rule on what do you have to do there in order to put the sticker up. Some people have to spend the night two nights. Some people have to spend the night one night. Some yes. people just have to have a, a tire of their truck touch it. Okay, yes. for us, it's footage. Some people want to go to the Capitol. Oh, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. For us, it, it's, it's footage. We don't have footage of North Dakota. Mm -hmm. We don't have footage of Nebraska. Mm -hmm. We don't have footage of West Virginia. Right. 
Oh, and There's we two. don't have footage of Oklahoma. Yes. So Oklahoma, West Virginia, North Dakota, and Nebraska, these are states that we have yet to visit. And, and visiting all 50 states was on our summer remember list, but we didn't make that happen this year. We just didn't have time to get yes. into those spots. Yeah. But um, there's always next time. There is. So, uh, so we have four states to do left, and um, we're looking forward to season eight, which we're going to talk more about in the very next video. Yeah. I don't even know if it's going to be season eight or if it's just going to be between seasons. We don't know yet. Yeah. There's a lot. We have, there's a lot we have to share. Yeah. Very exciting. So, uh, if these recap, if you, let us know if you like these recap videos. We think it's a good opportunity to, to highlight certain things that we did that for people to go back and reference. And then also people who are new to the channel can mm -hmm. kind of get a sense for everything we did in the season so that they can go back. And then, of course, everything that we mentioned will be linked down below. Mm -hmm. uh, you know where the blog is, or do they? I think it's uh, keepyourdaydream.com forward slash heartland. We'll get you the breakdown. For a long time, I was keeping track of every RV resort we stayed at and how much money, and then after two months, I'm like, you know, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's one thing when you go to Alaska and you have a set route. It's yes. another thing when you start zigzagging across the country. We just went all over. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, I will say that when it comes to season seven, it was, I mean, it was in the heartland. It was about, it was about our kids being in school and going to different camps. And it was about events like Oshkosh and, and, and going to games and really meeting people. It was not atypical for us. It was not like going to Alaska and hitting these destinations. It wasn't like going to New Zealand for six weeks. It was different. It was a different season. Yeah. Next season will be completely different. The one after that will be completely different. Yes, that's <laughs> That's sure. what we're good at. That's what is, we're good at. Is yes. changing. Changing and things up. Let's stir it up. Changing it up. And then as a reminder, you don't want to miss this coming up Sunday. Yes, because this is when we do the big reveal. Yeah, and we're very excited about it. So even Charlie's excited about it. So Yes, he's real worked up. Okay, that. so that's it for this video. Hi. We'll see you Sunday. And uh, as we said, there's links for everything down below. And um, that's it for this season. It was a fun one. We got this guy. We did. Yeah. Charlie, Charlie. What's going on there, buddy? Let's put him on the deck. Okay. You are my face. Red kind of glow You radiate my favorite tone You shed a light that guides me home To my face